I, I, I drop it because I don't want to be um, involved in that kind of a situation. I guess, like my, what my father said, being a lawyer, being an accountant is the same. We take care of our needs and um, I don't want to risk that. I worked so hard from the bottom to get up to get into CEO, to be a CFO in multinationals, um, companies who are listed in um, the stock exchange. I don't want to risk that. So for me, better do the right thing. <laughs> So with this, can you please give us uh, three three values that an accountant should have, especially in dealing with um, with taxes? With taxes, um, for me, the, the values that I always practice is number one, it has to be there has to be integrity, integrity in the numbers that you provide. To say that you you pay taxes, now, but sometimes you don't like declare them the proper amount. So. Integrity is very important for me. Integrity in the numbers and integrity in the things that you do and say. And um, as an accountant, um, another value that uh, you know I practice is um, being open. Uh, being open in the sense that uh, you are not close to a certain let's say school of thought, uh, you have to be open so that you are able to understand the, um, you know, because different industries make a kind of there are unique characteristics in it, there are unique um, things that you have to do, uh, focus on. So um, if you don't have an open mind, let's say for example, me, I've been in different industries, I've been, with, I've been in the banking industry, manufacturing, telephone, mining, uh, BPO, and now I'm with a renewable energy uh, company called MGE. So um, there are things that you would want to have in practice in this industry, but then it just doesn't change. You don't have that open mindset. Um, you always like, think that this is the thing that works. So, um, but of course, although accounting general banyan is the same thing all over, but in terms of being a strategic partner to the company that you work with, it's important. And um, um, integrity, being open, and of course, being strong, being strong. Uh, you have to be very firm on, on your decisions. Because they want to, let's say for example, for, for um, dealing with the BIR and having an experience this, the um, problem is sometimes with the BIR is of course they come and let's say for an audit where you should have LOA. Um, to me, I'd rather they like, pay everything, all, all the proper taxes, but then you BIR means that the problem with the BIR is, they, 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 they tell you, oh, okay, let's just do this, na lang, just pay this, etc., etc. We don't uh, cover the things for you. I've experienced that. And, um, you know, if you think you've strong will, just you can say, okay, uh, yeah, let's do this. But, but ako, I've always, like, you know, if you saw something, then prove it to me. Because once I join a company and once I say, uh, we have to do proper compliance, I make sure that I know my numbers. I make sure that. Like when I said, there is integrity in the numbers that you do, in the numbers that you present. But about the thing now, I you know how to do it. So uh, the three values are integrity, being open, and being strong-willed. Yeah. How about uh, the top three reasons why taxpayers do not pay the right taxes? Taxpayers do not pay. I think based on experience is that um, you you bring wrong notion of uh, or wrong information, misinformation. Let's say I have clients now, I tell them, oh, you should pay this because it will get your financial. Um, this is uh, you should pay all of these taxes, and then they say, oh, my 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 friend said that we can do this, etc. etc. So ako, um, what I do in cases like those is I really try to educate them. Because if people, especially like if you're, if you're dealing with um, Filipinos, and I guess especially with, with, with foreign companies right, right now, ganyan pala yung sinasabi nila. Oh, my friend said we can do this and we can So um, I try to educate them, I try to explain to them, and then end of the day, why are they coming to me? Like for my clients, why they are coming to me? Because uh, it didn't work for them, even if others are doing it. Because um, to me, like if you're 
if you don't pay the proper taxes, it's just you're lying. So when you're lying, you lie after lie until you don't know anymore what's the truth. And then you end up, you know, um, getting um, buried in, in all of the uh, improper filings that you did. So that, that's kind of hard. So I think that's one thing why people don't want to pay the proper taxes. And number two, of course, they don't believe in the government anymore. They don't see. Um, where the money is, is, is coming and I guess it's um, nothing for me against the media but sometimes like um, you know there has to be like responsible reporting or responsible um, uh, media because sometimes like um, you know a, a good story would always be either you know it touches the, the, the human nature or um, you either it's good, it's sad, or you, you put in more anger to, to, to the story, so to speak. And I guess that's one thing that para a lot a lot of people nowadays, whatever they read in the papers, akalaniya that's the truth. Um, to me, I, like I don't even like read um, the news anymore or listen to the news anymore, cause we're also at times that I believe that ang, ang totoo na lang sa mga news are the ones that you see in the obituaries. <laughs> But when you don't even like know anymore what's what's the truth. But then at the end of the day, whatever you feel is right is what you should do. So yeah, and why do people don't pay taxes? And um, what could be like another reason is um, they just don't want to pay the proper taxes. They don't want to. Um, let's say for example, like for 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 the AP. I always like for for the value added tax. I always like teach this to my clients. They feel to say that the value added tax is like um, uh, what do you call this? But it's an additional tax, or it's like a burden to them. When in fact, you know, there's an input tax, there's an output tax. So your input and your output be kind of set in. So um, a lot of people don't understand that. Akala lang nila it's 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 another tax. But when you try to explain to them that they 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 kind of appreciate it. So I guess that's one thing also when people don't pay in proper taxes, they're not. Uh, Properly informed, so it's this this information where they're not properly educated on, on this. So do you think uh, it's the government's task to inform the people, or is it the accountant's task? It has to be both, because I, I believe that not with 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 um, especially in our in our situation now, I, I believe that um, it has to be both. Um, the, the government has to properly educate and uh, of course the accountants has to make sure you know that um, everything that the BIR is uh, trying to implement you should support as well mm -hmm. but not everything because like there are also other taxes that we feel that like, especially for our um, uh, internal revenue code it has been bent, um like uh, several years back that's why we have been trained on now but, so I think that's that's um, this is also like a, a good thing for um, us to be updated, especially in our laws. Because um, a lot of things are not, um, you know, by the uh, it, it it doesn't conform to what's happening in the environment. So everything has to be updated. So and I believe then that there's no one. Um, or if you want to see change, right? that's, that's what we always say. If you want to see change, then be the change that you want to be. So parang you just cannot be dependent on the government. Because in the government, they don't have enough um, resources, especially for, for, for BIR. I know that, um, you know, ang kulang din sila, and they don't, um, kung, kung sa ibang countries, like working for the government is like something that a lot of people would want to be in. Sa atin naman, it's, it's the opposite, diba? Why? Because they're not, uh, like, instead of working for the government, they'd rather work in private kasi it goes for salary. And kung yun ang motivation ng everyone, then it's, it's really hard for, for us to, like, really have a change. And I know that sa BIR, they are kulang sila sa, I mean, kulang sila sa manpower, and they're not getting, like, enough um, people. Uh, like really, really qualified ones, really like good ones to be in the government. Mm -hmm.